the Tatra Mountains on the border of Poland and Slovakia. This is probably the best place to start our story about climate change. Here in the Tatras, you can still feel the spirit of the climate of the Ice Age. The Tatra chamois is one of the most characteristic animals of the Tatra Mountains. The species is well adapted to living in very extreme conditions. In the past, when mammoths walked the earth, the ancestors of today's chamois occupied a far more extensive area. When the climate started to warm, their living habitat shrank to very high mountain elevations. That happened thousands of years ago. The impact of climate warming can be observed here and now. You don't have to go to Africa or the Arctic to see it. Take the common crane, for example. Only a dozen years ago, they used to migrate to Spain for the winter. Nowadays, many of them winter in Western Poland. You can see them in cornfields or river valleys. More and more warm climate species are appearing in our country. For example, colorful European bee eaters in North Poland or great egrets, a typically Mediterranean species. But global warming means not only the appearance of new species and the extinction of others. It also has a serious impact on us, human beings. Floods, fires and hurricanes we are aware that we are partly to blame for it. Over the last 20 years, Poland has gone through difficult changes on all social, economic and political levels. The Solidarity Movement at the end of the 80s started the transformation of this part of Europe. Only joint action made it possible for these changes to happen faster than expected. During that time, we have also done much to reduce emission of greenhouse gases. Advanced technology and renewable energy have set us in the right direction towards sustainable development and an eco-friendly economy. However, we know that there's still a lot to be done. But that's not all. It will be much easier for us to ward off the negative effects of climate change if we are surrounded by unspoilt nature. Any current action will have an impact on our future. That is why protecting the environment is a must and not a choice. Such an unspoilt environment in Europe can only be found in Białowieża primeval forest in eastern Poland. This fascinating forest is the largest part of the old growth forest which once spread across the European plain. It's here where the European bison, the largest land mammal, managed to survive. The oaks, spruces, limes and ashes that grow in Białowieża forest are some of the tallest in Europe. You'll find here thousands of mushroom species, many unknown to science. Bird watchers from all over the world come here to see some particularly rare woodpeckers, such as the white-backed woodpecker. The old growth forest is very resistant to all sorts of disasters. It heals very quickly after gales, fires or massive insect invasions, provided we do not interfere. A flood in an unregulated river floodplain is not a disaster, but a blessing. Not only birds and plants, but farmers also benefit from it, as they don't need to worry that their pastures will ever dry out.
The ecosystem of the unique Rospuda peat bogs may actually help us draw up an effective way of combating global warming, as peat bogs actively bind carbon from the atmosphere. Nowadays, nature is one of Poland's biggest and most spectacular treasures. And it's nature that can teach us how to deal with the negative effects of climate change. Nevertheless, even the best preserved natural environment and the most advanced technologies will not protect us from these changes if we don't join forces and act together. The history of our region has taught us that only together can we face great challenges. We have the privilege to represent this part of Europe as the host of the United Nations Conference on Climate Change. We hope that our experience of joint action on both local and global levels and awareness that we still have a lot to learn from our partners how to protect our common interest will inspire us to work together to counteract the negative effects of changes in the surrounding natural environment. Let's make a climate for a change.